Well, this is a song that I got from a man who was... Uh, excuse me till I blow my nose. You never had anyone blow their nose on a record before, I can tell you that. <laughs> That's what they call the, the national guitar. I'll tell you this much, if you have any idea coming over to Ireland, stop where you are unless you've got very good nostrils. This song anyway I got from a, a man called, I hate these things where people say I got this song from some place in the States, but in actual fact I did happen to get these songs. I'm a little bit genuine uh, to the extent that I just heard these songs from and I was in the places just naturally. I didn't go around here chasing up citizens to do these things. I just heard them in their natural habit there. How's me French accent? But I, I got this song from a man called Tom Osborne in the Wicklow Mountains. And uh, anyway, this fellow used to sing this song. And my uncle wrote very good songs about the trouble at times. But this is a, a genuine ballad that was simply written by somebody that felt like it. If you don't want to hear the, hear the lot of it, it goes, it seems to go on to me for a few years. I've got to sing it. You might think it's tough having to listen to it, but you can switch it off and start at some more interesting point, which is my usual way with things like that. Who fears to speak of Easter week, that week of famed renown? When the boys in green they went out to fight the forces of the crown. With mothers bold and hearts of gold, the red countess dressed in green. And high above the GPO, the rebel flag was seen. Then came ten thousand khaki coats, our rebel boys to kill. Before they reached O'Connell Street, of fight they got their fill. They machine guns and artillery and cannon in galore. But it wasn't our fault that era one got back to England shore. For six long days we held them off at odds of ten to one. And through our lines they could not pass for all of their heavy guns. And deadly poison gas they used to try and crush in vain. And burdens our Irish capital like the Germans did Louvain. The Anglo-Saxons make great contributions to culture, don't they? They shot our leaders in a jail without a trial, they say. They murdered women and children who in their cellars lay. They dug the grave with gun and spade to hide them from our view. Because they could neither kill nor catch the rebels so bold and true. But we will love old Ireland and shall while life remain. And we will say, God speed the day, the rebels will rise again. The Irish slaves and English knaves may try you to deceive. Remember those who died for you, and likewise James Connolly's grave.